Hi guys, it's me, Flirty. <laughs> so I'm back because it's almost summertime and a lot of people get married in the summer. So I am going to, I already have my foundation, got these brows done. I am going to do a bride's makeup, like a bride's makeup look. Um, that's one of the first thing I mastered when I worked at Sephora. So I love. I could go in the pinkish row or I could go in the nudish row. And I'm going to go according to my skin tone. I'm gonna just go bronze. I'm gonna go bronzy. I'm gonna um, smoke my eyes out like with a brown. And I have this cute, cute, cute eyeshadow glitter. It's like a glitter, it's a body and eye from Stila and that's what I'll be using like in the middle of my eyes. So I hope you guys like it. And if you hear all this noise in construction, sorry for that. They always do construction in my building all around my complex. But here we go. So I have my foundation, I have my brows. I am going straight into my eyeshadow and then I'll scope my face. When it comes to wedding makeup, you have to focus on correcting. When you correct, you don't have that shade of dark coming out of the skin, even through the foundation. So it's all about correcting. I color correct, I put a foundation on. As you can see, that I blended very well. Um, it looks like skin. And that's what you really want to focus on when it comes to wedding makeup. So it's a bride, it's all about her. She don't want to look cakey. And, you know, these pictures are almost forever. Who knows? And you really want to try your best to, like, correct her skin and give her that makeup, no makeup look into, like, the skin area. When it comes to the eyes, it depends on the client, how smoky they want it. I always go light because the fresher, the lighter, the younger you look. So, let's go. I will be utilizing a certain certain things and I'll show you guys now. By the way, I hope everybody's well with good health for you and your family. So I'll be utilizing Anastasia Soft Glam. It's just one of those palettes that go for any type of look. But when it comes to fresh wedding or any summer event look and you just want that fresh, like, light makeup or makeup no makeup look this is the palette to go for i will be utilizing outer corner i'm doing this one um cyber umber i'll be using on my outer corner for my crease i'll definitely go with rustic and for my inner corner like i said i was gonna use the stilo it's just like this body glitter it's so fresh and I am looking forward to using it. I used it on like an Asian client and I was so amazed at that for monolith. This is great. This one is called Silver Lake. But, and then for my mascara, everybody knows Hourglass when I use lashes, of course, for any wedding, if you're the bride, you need lashes. I'm not using nothing too crazy. I definitely just want to enlarge my lashes. This is Hipster from Sephora Collection. And for lipsticks, this is for now, um, Huda Trendsetter, Huda Trendsetter Lip Liner, Still, um, Anastasia Pure Liquid Lip Stain, and the vintage that I got from Vox, Voxy Charm is called Vintage, and it's a lip gloss, which I'm going to put it on top. On my base, I use a Radiant Primer, um, my NARS, and my Laura Mercier Lumiere Foundation. And of course, y'all already know how I do when it comes to my brow. I use Anastasia Dip Brow. Of course, I have to draw them in. You already know how that goes. I have real, real thin brows, and I don't have brows. So... I'm gonna start, I already have a primer, I set it and everything. I'm gonna start with my soft glam. And I am going to hit, I'm just gonna go ahead and do burn for all over my lid. The Cypress Yumba on the outer corner of my eye. I'm 
I'm going to use my flat brush. I'm going to set this with tempura. Now I'm going to utilize my steel only in the middle. It's real simple. I'm just taking my sweet time, but this is a very, it, it's all about sculpting and color correcting and um, yeah, defining, defining the, the bones and the structure. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna tight light my black and my inner um lash rim so you really want to play with waterproof on this type of event just because it's hot it's sweaty um most of us wear contacts this is the mark jacob retractable gel liner in blacker so for my eyeliner in the bottom i use the sephora collection silver it's actually number two. I smushed it a little. So I'm gonna use the Stila. It's a very, very thin liner. I just really want something thin um, cause I'm gonna go over it after the lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these lashes in. Honestly, you shouldn't go so heavy for wedding makeup. It's just a fresh look. Perfect, so I'm gonna rehydrate my face and start sculpting. Fenty Beauty in Truffle. Now I'm gonna conceal with my Laura Mercier. So I'm quickly gonna set with my Hydra Perfect. I'm So Cypress Umber, I'm going to put it right under my eyes. Perfect. I'm going to quickly go with my Fenty Private Island Bronzer. straight into my blush. For blush, I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Bake. They don't make this no more, so don't even go out there and look for it. And it, of course, my double ended. This just comes so handy, especially if you're traveling. I'm gonna go with my highlighters will be Anastasia and Breezy and I'm gonna do makeup forever. It's like inside the cartridge. First I'll start with my makeup forever and I will utilize my bare minerals. So highlighters is as much as you want. It is your special day but don't oh don't exceed it it just unless it's a club it don't look good i am going to put some on my inner corners
and music makes it pop like no other, yep. If you're oily, avoid the forehead. Yay, so... Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna use my hourglass and I'm going over my lashes. So now, I'm gonna go with the liner and trendsetter from Hoda. I'm gonna use Anastasia and Pure Lip Stains. I got it from BoxyCharm and it's vintage. I like this a lot because it's a brush. They don't really come with brush anymore. So this is the finishing look. Mm -mm -mm. Sexy. This is a gorgeous look. It's actually a bright look, like a bride. You could do it as a bridesmaid, but because of the glitter and white, you actually don't want to do that to your homegirl, whoever wedding you're going to. But this is the finishing look for a bride's makeup. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, and share. I thank you very much. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you. Have a blessed one. Till next time. <laughs>